Our first fragrance release, Mr. Fragrance, is the ideal scent for a man who likes blue fragrances. You want to smell fresh out of the shower, but you want that DNA elevated to a niche level with more complexity. We combine both blue and green notes to make a very handsome fragrance that you can wear as your signature. If you want a fragrance that will make it smell very elegant and refined, and something that will go to the top of your most complimented list, this is the fragrance for you guys. We have a limited time before the pre-launch finishes. Make sure to acquire a bottle for yourself before it's over. Let's get into the video. Don't buy these popular fragrances, buy these instead. We're doing a part two to this series, as you guys love part one so much, where I put the top selling heavy hitters in the market on full blast, where I give you my superior alternative, so you guys stay one step ahead of the game and you're spending your money as best as possible. Let's get started. Don't buy Versace Dylan Blue. I know I like to hate on this fragrance a lot. I do think it's a solid young man's signature fragrance. Get Salvatore Ferragamo's Aqua Essenziale Blue instead. I think this is a superior blend and it smells higher quality. It's the same scent genre. It's a tiny bit more mature than Dylan Blue, but I think this is definitely better value for money. It's cheaper than Dylan Blue as well. In, and you get similar performance about six to eight hours. A super versatile fragrance also. It's does smell a tiny bit more mature, a bit more luxurious, but that's picking fine details. Overall, I definitely prefer Aqua Essenziale Blue. Don't buy Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I've worn it several times and I think it smells like a makeup counter with a bit of a cherry note in the opening. Again, the cherry note doesn't last too long. Its performance is very disappointing. It's very disappointing for the price as well. It's 250 pounds. It's way too much for what it is. And also I think it's not particularly masculine as a fragrance. I don't think it's very applicable as a cherry based signature for men. Obviously there's L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum, which us men can go for. However, I'm going to recommend this today. Aaron Terrence Hughes Raw Cherry. If you want a cherry based masculine signature, this is definitely what you go for instead of Lost Cherry. This is Aaron's style through and through. It's very creative. It's cherry and chocolate mixed together. The cherry note actually lasts. This fragrance lasts much more as well. It lasts at least 10 hours on my skin. It's got oud in it. It smells overall very smoky, woody, but still rich, luxurious, very dark, and very interesting. This is a super creative signature fragrance. I think it's one of Aaron's best. I particularly don't like, I don't particularly like the cherry note, but I still think this is a masterpiece and very, Nice, a very nice concept, very nicely done. This is much more interesting to smell than Lost Cherry, and it's much cheaper than Lost Cherry as well for a 50 mils. So make sure you get this fragrance from Aaron's website, guys, uh, if you can. I'll link his website in the description down below. And I think in America, you have to go to Max Aroma to acquire Aaron's fragrances. Don't buy Amouage's Reflection Man. In the community, people know this fragrance as a more clean, niche version of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal. It's a sort of recreation by Amouage. In fairness, yes, you can see the, the uh, resemblance. It's a lot more white floral based and very sandalwood based as well. I sort of blindfold this fragrance and, and I think it's a nice fragrance, but I'm a little bit disappointed if that's the, the thing you want. If you want a clean Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal, there's a better alternative to this. Harfum de Marley's Darley. A forgotten about release from the house, which is super underappreciated. This is the Le Mal that you want when you want something a bit more clean. Uh, something you can easily wear as a signature. Reflection Man, I do think overall is a little bit overrated. I think it does smell luxurious. It smells more like a wedding day scent in my opinion. Uh, so I think that's the only occasion that would be this fragrance. Otherwise, this smells like a barbershop fragrance with a minty pop and a sweet powdery vanilla dry down. It's about eight hours longevity. It still smells very luxurious as well. Uh, it's very versatile also. If you want a, a different, unique signature fragrance for yourself, you can wear it all year round. Do not sleep on Darley. Do not buy the original Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. The original Spice Bomb has been reformulated heavily. It doesn't perform anywhere near as well as it used to. And also I think it's not multifaceted enough in my opinion. I think there are better, more complex and interesting fragrances. Bulgari's Man in Black is what you should get. There's a definitely a heavy resemblance between <laughs> Spice Bomb and this fragrance. Man in Black does not project as much, but it shares that similarity of being spicy sweet vanilla with uh, tobacco, but this then adds a rum note in here as well, making it a little bit more complex, interesting, a bit more mature, it's a little bit closer to the skin. I think quality-wise is definitely higher quality than the original Spice Bomb, 
Maybe if you're a younger man, you really love this DNA, you don't, you don't want to go for spice, normally extreme, which is what I recommend from the line, or infrared is even better as well. Um, then fair enough, go for the original spice one. But otherwise, if you don't mind smelling a bit more mature, or if you are more, just a mature man, you want something definitely a superior product, Man of Black is for you. It lasts 10 hours as well, very good performance. Don't buy Prada Lom. Most of you are hating me right now. I do not like Prada Lom. I think it is overrated as well. It's fine, it's a very simple, clean iris office fragrance that it does smell high quality, it's a good blend. I think it smells too feminine for my liking actually and it's not complex enough for my liking either. You're going for a minimalist office clean scent. This is a fragrance that doesn't smell like it but it's a good alternative and a better alternative in my opinion. Eccentric 01. Make sure you're not confusing this with Molecule 01. It's the same brand but Molecule 01 has only one ingredient in there, ISO E Super. Eccentric 01 takes that concept, that very highly complemented Molecule <laughs> um, 01 DNA so it's still packed full of ISO E Super, but then it's built on it with uh, more citruses, musk, and some vetiver. It smells more like a complete package, so it's, it's more interesting for you to wear as, as the um, individual wearing it all day. It still smells like a very minimalist, clean, very, very much musky, diffusive, um, and woody, sexy signature. Uh, so if you want, again, a minimal uh, office fragrance that will get you more noticed, than Prada Lom while still smelling very professional. I think Eccentric 01 is definitely the one I would go for. It smells more traditionally masculine. and I, I definitely prefer wearing this over Prada Lom personally. If you, don't disagree, if you don't agree with me guys, let me know in the comments down below. Don't buy Versace Eros. When I first bought Eros, I absolutely loved this fragrance. The problem I have with this DNA is that I get bored of it so quickly. I actually originally gave away my first bottle of Eros. <laughs> which was still one of my first fragrances in my collection. I gave it away after a few weeks to a friend, honestly because I got sick and tired of it so quickly. It's the kind of fragrance when people smell it at first, they'll love it, they'll give you compliments, but you as a wearer won't like it for too long in my opinion. Um, you may disagree, but that's just my experience. I think there are better alternatives, especially for the warmer weather, fragrances for clubbing that aren't as sweet. Get 212's VIP Man. This takes an aquatic vodka note based DNA that is very loud, very sexy, fresh, aromatic, uh, but it doesn't have the any fruits, uh, so it's not it's not an aquatic fragrance that's usually associated with fruit notes or heavy citrus notes. It's very clear, transparent, cl very clean. Uh, the only way I can describe it is aquatic, yes, and uh, then becomes more sweet, tonka bean based in the dry down later on. Uh, so it's still a sweet fragrance. Overall, that's going to be less annoying than Versace Eros. Not as well performing, I get about six hours of this fragrance, but if you're going clubbing, that's probably all you need anyways. It's very loud, attention grabbing, and it's a very sexy fragrance, especially in the opening. The opening just hooks you in straight away. Try it out in any store if you can, guys. Don't buy YSL's tuxedo, get Rocha's mustache EDP instead. Every time I wore a tuxedo, I didn't really see the hype. Honestly, I think mainly because this exists. It's a nice DNA, it's a rose, sweet, um, warm rose based DNA with patchouli mixed in there as well. It's got a nice peppery notes in there. It's very well balanced rose scent. Definitely perfectly unisex. The, for the price, it's it's not that great, to be honest. Uh, I think maybe if, if this couldn't, if, if it wasn't replicated so well, maybe it would be a masterpiece. As a lot of reviewers on YouTube would say it's the number one fragrance of all time. I don't agree with that. I think it's okay. I think it definitely needs to perform a lot better for the price you're paying. This performs similarly. Uh, so I get eight hours of very soft projection. Tuxedo maybe projects a tiny bit more and it smells a tiny bit higher quality, but this being a tenth of the price of, of the tuxedo, uh, I think it's just a no-brainer, guys. If you want a very interesting rose-based signature, you can wear it all year round. Eight hours longevity, go for mustache EDP. I know it's tricky to get, guys, but wait for it and try to acquire it when you can. Don't get the original Emporia Armani Stronger With You. I think it's a very nice fragrance, however, I think it's just too mass appealing. It's too smooth. You don't really pick out any particular notes, which is fine, but I just don't feel like it has enough character. It's just a very mass appealing, warm, ambery, spicy uh, DNA. If you want just pure mass appeal, if you're a beginner in fragrances, it works fine. But I think if you want something with more character, something a bit more rich and interesting to wear in your evening nights out, get replicas by the fireplace instead. This takes that similar, very sweet, loud DNA from 
stronger with you. They have some resemblances in my opinion. And then as this very realistic, trying to put you in the scenario of by the fireplace, it smells like very much like a smoky, woody fireplace essentially. It smells like you're, uh, let's say, roasting marshmallows by a, a big bonfire. And I think it's just a lot more creative, this fragrance. It's still loud, it's still attention grabbing. And I think you'll enjoy it a lot more as the wearer. You spend a little bit more money, I think it's absolutely worth it. You probably just get the 30 mil small bottles as well. You don't even need a big bottle of by the fireplace. I think it's definitely a superior fragrance to the original Stronger With You. And finally, don't forget Davidoff's Cool Water. It's a phenomenal fragrance, it's a classic. I still love wearing it. Although I think it is a product of its time. You can still smell you know, the 80s through this bottle. Uh, it was just fine. It's fine to appreciate the classics. It has this aquatic DNA mixed with green notes, trying to make it smell fresh out of the shower. Um, but I think if you want a fragrance that is, again, a classic, but still smells more modern than this and has that similar vibe, you get 212 Men NYC by Carolina Herrera. This is only a green fragrance that still smells musky, fresh out of the shower. It lasts longer. It doesn't smell as outdated as cool water. And I think it's just generally heavily slept on. It's very versatile as well, with the obvious main signature um, seasons you're gonna wear this in is gonna, are gonna be spring and summer. I think for a fragrance that's a very similar price to cool water, this is definitely better quality, better performance, better overall, guys. If you agree with me, let me know if you try both these fragrances. Thank you to everyone who has contributed to the Kickstarter so far. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Mr. Fragrance is a 25% concentration scent. I'm trying to get you guys the most luxurious perfumery for the most affordable price, guys. I really hope you'll back this project and support us, guys. We have a limited time run. Let's do it, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.